So in the last video, we talked about how to do long division with polynomials. Today, we're going to talk about a shortcut called synthetic division. That won't work every time, but it will work in certain situations. And it'll work in situations that we're often going to be in going forward. So synthetic division is only going to work for polynomial division when you're dividing by a linear term. So this is x to the first power here. And the leading coefficient is 1. So we're going to take this division bar here and we're going to flip it upside down and make it look like an L. Then we're going to take the, the coefficients of the numerator, so the 1, the 5, and the 6 here, and we're going to write them here. Now remember, if you need a placeholder, you're going to have a 0 in here for that placeholder. Then we're going to figure out what makes the denominator equal 0, which is positive 1 here. You can also look at that as the opposite sign. So we're going to simulate this division over here. So we're going to take this first coefficient and we're going to drop it all the way down below this bar. So you always drop the first term. Then we're going to multiply here. So 1 times 1 is 1. And we're going to write that result under the next number. And then we're going to add these together. 5 plus 1 is 6. And that's the procedure. We're just going to repeat that the whole way down. Now we only have to do it one more time here. You may have to do it more than once in other problems. So 1 times 6 is 6. And then we're going to add these together to get 12. So this last number here, you want to make a note, is the remainder. Because we divided by x, each one of these terms is going to go down 1 in degree. So this was the 1x squared term. This is just going to be the 1x term. This is the linear term. So the 6 is just going to become a constant term. And then as we already discussed, this is the constant term, so this will become the remainder. So we're going to put plus 12 over what we divided by, which is actually x minus 1. And you can see this matches up exactly if we had done it with the long division. We also would have gotten 12 over x minus 1. So now you want to pause the video and try to divide this with synthetic division and then check back in to see how you did. So let's make that division box upside down. Take the coefficients of the numerator. First check to see if you need any placeholders. Since this is cubed, we should have a squared term, a linear term, and a constant term. So we do, and we don't need any placeholders here. So 2, 3, negative 5, and 1. Out here comes the zero of the denominator. What would make this equal to zero? Negative two. So you should have dropped this first term all the way down. Then you should have multiplied negative two times two is negative four. Put that result here. Add these together. You get negative one. Multiply again. Negative two times negative one is positive two. Add down. You get negative three. And one more time, negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. Add down, and you get 7. Again, realize this is the remainder. And since there is a remainder, we also know immediately that x plus 2 is not a factor of the numerator. So let's turn this back into a polynomial. This was the coefficient of the cubic term. So below it, since we divided by x, becomes the coefficient of the quadratic term. And then you just keep working your way down. Negative 1 is the coefficient of the linear term. And that makes the minus 3 the constant term. And then our remainder, plus 7, over what we divided by originally, x plus 2. All right, this last one is for you here. You want to do this in your notebook and bring it to class tomorrow. But one thing I want you to make sure you notice here is that you are going to need a placeholder on this one because there is no linear term in here. So make sure when you think of this, you think about it like 3x cubed minus 17x squared plus 0x minus 8 when you set up your synthetic division. Good luck.